to Austin from the Seattle Chinese Times. I'm here with Gail Tarson. She's the only woman serving on the Seattle Port Commission. So Gail, tell us a little bit about yourself. Jocelyn, thanks so much for having me here today. I very much appreciate the opportunity to serve on the Port Commission. I am a current elected commissioner and I am running for re-election to position two. This is one of the best jobs I've had in my life. After 30 years of working in international affairs and national security areas, uh, coming to work in our communities and helping our communities get through this recession, uh, make sure we hold on to the jobs that we have, protect the aerospace and fishing and maritime economies that we have here in Puget Sound and King County is the great challenge of our time, but we are up to that challenge. Right, so um, what is the value of diversity to you and what benefits will you bring to our communities? During my career of building teams of people who come from all different cultures and speak all different languages, I have learned that we solve problems when we bring diverse ideas and diverse communities and diverse people together. And during the term on the Port Commission, I made a decision that I wanted to link this need for equal access to equal opportunity to opening up the competitive bidding process at the port. And so in 2009, I uh, helped lead a competitive bidding process uh, rebuild, and I also formed an equal opportunity and non-discrimination policy, the first time ever at the port. That sounds amazing. So why should our voter vote for you? Our voters should always vote. And our voters should vote for the people who are trying to make their communities more livable, more sustainable, and committed to bringing back jobs. Uh, I am absolutely uh, certain that we have the ability here to retain the almost 100,000 jobs in King County that are related to trade and commerce, that we can build a sustainable industrial port in the middle of an urban region and give livable, livable communities back to our people. And so I would be honored to have the vote of your communities in my re-election campaign. Okay, thank you so much for coming here today. You are welcome, thank you.